Welcome to another episode of Barlow Barbecue. It's good to see you. Today we're going to be doing some grilled whole wings on the gas grill and we're going to put together a honey bourbon garlic sauce for those wings. And since we like things hot here at Barlow Barbecue, we're going to add in some habanero hot sauce and some ghost pepper hot sauce to that wing sauce. All right, so let's get things started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is get this gas grill started up. All right, so we're going to cook these wings today at around 400 degrees. So we need to give this a little bit of time to warm up before we get those wings on. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, since we want hot heat, we're going to turn two burners on full blast, y'all, right like this. Hit that ignition switch and we're rolling. We'll cover this up. And while this is warming up to 400 degrees, we're going to go ahead and get those wings going. All right, we got the gas grill fired up. So let's take a look at the wings we're using today. These are whole wings, as you can see. You know, nothing real fancy about these, but we're gonna keep them whole as we grill them. We're not gonna cut these up at all. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just give these just a light little coating of some cooking spray. And we will do this on both sides. I'm just gonna show you the one side for the sake of the video, all right? I think you can figure out how to flip them over and do it on the other side. Just a light little spray. This is gonna help these crisp up, that skin crisp up a little bit as it cooks. Now the next ingredient, we're gonna add some uh, black pepper, we're gonna add some salt, and some cayenne pepper to these wings, all right? So here we go, we're just gonna do, you can use as much or as little as you want. Just like that, it is easy as that, okay? Now, salt-wise, we don't need a lot of salt, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit right here in my hand and just do a little sprinkle, sprinkle. Now again, I'm gonna do this on the other side as well, but I'm just showing y'all how to do it on this side. All right, we got the salt on there. Now for the final ingredient, some cayenne pepper. And again, you can use as little or as much as you want on the cayenne. I'm gonna go a little heavy duty because I like the heat. All right, check it out, folks. This is what they're gonna look like. Looking pretty good. So as soon as that grill is ready for 400 degrees, we're gonna get these wings on. All right, y'all, our grill is at 450 degrees. So it's time to get these wings on. Now, if you guys at home don't want to use your gas grill you can use a charcoal grill and get the same wonderful results just get that charcoal grill going as hot as you can light a full charcoal chimney of charcoal get that going to 400 degrees and what we're going to do now we're going to get these on and we're going to flip these every few every few minutes until these get a really nice golden brown color on them and there you go just like like that whoopsie that guy lost a little bit there all right so let's go ahead and close this up and we'll check back in just a few minutes when it's time to flip oh you hear that that's the timer for five minutes folks it's time to check on these wings let's take a look it's time to flip them all righty let's give them a little flip just like that so far, so good. We might have to move some of these around once we get a little further into the cook here. These really shouldn't take too long. These are bigger wings, so they might take a little longer than expected, but it's all good. All right, there we go. We're gonna close this up and give these another five minutes on this side. All right, there we go. Timer for another five minutes has just went off. It's been cooking for a total of 10 minutes right now. So let's go ahead and flip these. Woo. We're getting a nice color on these. Again, we're looking for a nice dark golden brown color on these wings, so we're getting there. Do a little flipping around, moving around here. It's all good. Part of what grilling's all about. Now I went ahead and turned on a third burner because Martha's here and she's gonna show you guys how we put together the sauce we're gonna use on these wings. All right, so our condo's on the third floor and we forgot all of our measuring implements, so this is just gonna be a sorta 
the right measurement. It's all going to be great. We'll give you a sort of recipe at the in the description box. Yep, just check down below in the description box. Ooh. We'll get you the recipe with all the measurements in there. These look great. All right, we're going to start this with some butter. Oh, yeah. We're using about a quarter of a cup of butter. I'm just going to melt that. All right, looks like the butter is all melted there. We're just heating it up so we can toast up this garlic a little more. So just a little little further than melted, and we'll toss this in. We've got about three cloves of garlic stuck to the bottom of this container. Three cloves of minced garlic. There we go, and we're just going to stir that up. And let that kind of saute up a little bit in the Move butter. Move it over to the hot side of the grill again. Okay, we're going to use about a quarter of a cup of honey. We're just guessing that this is a quarter of a cup. Looks like a quarter of a cup. Quarter cup of honey. I'm liking where this is going, y'all. You're going to like it even better in a minute. Mm -hmm. We're going to use about two tablespoons of whiskey. You're, just use your favorite bourbon. One, two. If you have a shot I'll glass, yeah. <laughs> a couple shots of liquid smoke. I like to use pecan. Hickory sometimes makes things taste like hot dogs. But if you like hot dogs, have at it. We're just going to give this a little smoky flavor, a couple teaspoons of that. And now for the hot sauce. We're going to add a quarter of a cup of this habanero hot sauce. Again, we're just using this little cup as a measure. This is going to be some spicy, spicy wings. It's going to hurt going in and probably coming out. And then we're going to use about a quarter cup of this ghost pepper hot sauce. This hot sauce, this, this wing sauce is not for sissies. It's going to make a man. Hopefully not out of me though. Good thing I'm not eating it. All right, let's give her a stir. All right, we're going to give it a stir. Oh yeah. We're just going to kind of let this hang out in the corner of our grill with the heat turned down or off until we're ready to sauce. All right. And these wings are going to be ready to flip in just a little bit. Ta-da! All right. We'll give these wings a few more minutes and then we'll flip them. Oh, you hear that? That's our timer. It's time to flip these wings. They've been going for a total of 15 minutes. Grill temp. Is holding strong just a little under 400 degrees, but that's just all right. That's fine. Let's take a look at these wings. Ooh, yeah, take a look. Check out this color, y'all. We're getting there. We're getting there. Nice, nice color going on these wings. Give them a flip. Oh, yeah, we're getting real close. Real close. I'm going to move some of these around a little bit back there. Move some of these skinny ones up front. Up front is a little less heat. The back is where there's more heat. We'll get this guy back here. Move these guys up. Okay, so these are getting close. So we're not going to use a thermometer to check an internal temp on these wings today. We're just going to go by how the color looks and kind of like, you know, what your gut's telling you. All right, so I've done wings a lot of times. I'm kind of getting that. But if it's your first time, you know, you want to cook chicken until it's at least 165 degrees, but to really get these good with the crispy, crispy skin and all that stuff, you're probably pushing it closer to 180, you know, 190 degrees. But you want to be careful. You don't want to dry them out too much. All right. So we're going to let these go for another five minutes. We'll check on them. And uh, by that time, they should be pretty close to done. All right. So we'll see you real soon, y'all. Cheers. All right, folks, we've been cooking now for a total of 20 minutes on these wings. Let's check them out, see how they're doing. I think we're going to be real close. Come on in and take a look, see how they're looking. We've got a real nice color going here. Looking real good. They got some juices coming out of, oop, we got a little, whoop, whoop. That one's a little done there. That's all, that's all good. But we got some juices running out of these. So the juices is running clear, so that's a good sign right there that we're almost done. We're almost done with these wings. There we go. But I tell you what, I think I'm just going to give these just another few minutes. 
And then we're gonna uh, take them off. We'll sauce them. We'll give them a taste test. So let's just give these another few minutes and these should be done. All right, y'all, we've been grilling these wings for a total of 25 minutes. And you know what? I think they're done. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Now come on in now take a look. We got some beautiful golden brown color. You know, a little dark color on some of these too. Whoops, but that's all good. But uh, I think these, I'm gonna call these, these are done. These are looking really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these off the grill and we're gonna sauce them and we're gonna do a taste test, y'all. It's gonna be real good. All right, well, these wings are looking mighty good, but they're not quite finished yet. We've gotta add the last key step is to sauce them, all right? Now, Martha, you go ahead and uh, we got a little brush going on. We're gonna share with you guys our special Barlow barbecue sauce and a secret for these wings. We're gonna do a little top. We're gonna to brush them on the top. We're gonna to flip them over. We're gonna brush them on the bottom. And then we're gonna flip them over and brush them once more on the top. Top, top bottom, bottom, top, y'all. All right, you don't need to shake them or anything like that. Just do top, bottom, top, and you're gonna be good to go. All Extra right? saucy. Extra saucy is Just what like we me. like. That's right. Hmm. These are looking good. That, that sauce is smelling real good too. I can tell already it's going to be hot. Flipper. All right, let's flip it. It's All always right. good not to wear a white shirt while you were Never, saucing. never do it. Look who's, yep. So we got the top, let's do the bottom. And brushing on makes it great because you can get into all the nooks and crannies. Kind of when you spoon it around, not all of them get all saucy. That's right. All right, let's do the top. Now for the final flip, we got the top, we got the bottom. And we just need the top once more. All right, one more layer of sauce and we're gonna be ready for a taste test on these wings. Look at that. Mm. That is looking real, real good. All right, y'all, we got some wings right here. Woo, yeah, look Ooh, at that. baby. Now, this stranger right here is our good friend Jamie, who was the cameraman for this episode. So listen, that's right. If y'all didn't like the way it looked, this is the guy to blame right here. Don't blame us. I think he did a great job. Thanks a lot for your help today. But let's try out these wings. So let's just see how they pull apart. Oh, nice and tender, just like that. Oh, dang. Oh, that yeah. makes me hungry. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes sweet. Mmm. And you get that heat as well. Woo! Mm -hmm. It's a really <laughs> nice balance. The sweet. Yeah. I mean, the heat. Yeah, the heat. Woo. The heat sneaks up on you a little bit. <coughs> Those are great. Mm -hmm. sure They're hot. It's a slow, slow rise in heat that yep. makes me say, Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. All right. <laughs> Our That's exactly right. The first thing you get hit with is that sweetness of the honey. And then the heat of the habanero and the ghost pepper creeps in. And I think it's a really nice balance because it sure is. you got to pay for that sweet with a bit of heat. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's a whole lot of heat. Uh, it's what good. do you guys think about the texture of these wings? The texture is great. It's tender. Real too good. busy eating still to tell juicy. you. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So Perfect. nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. Not completely dried out. Not dried out at all. These are real good, y'all. Mm. I love wings. I think I need another Me napkin. Mm -hmm. You're gonna need lots of lot napkins for this one, folks. I think I need another wing. Probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, listen. While these two grab some other wings, I'm gonna get one too. I want to. We want to tell you, thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate you. Thanks for joining us. We'll have a recipe for everything right down below in the description box. And would you guys agree? I think y'all need to try out this one. These are great. Definitely. If you're not too sensitive to heat, all right? So this one is only for those of you who can stand the heat, all right? That's yeah, right. it's hot. It's, it's hot, <laughs> it's real good, all right? But delicious. So listen, we're gonna say, until next time, we love you guys. And until next time, smoke them if you got them. That's right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.